This is going to be a guide video for Pixel Survival 2. This is mostly going towards people that are new to the game or need help in general. I'll break down the video into three sections, and these are the ones that stuck out to me the most, was starting out, managing your gems, and what to do and what not to do. If there's anything that I did not include in the video, just ask me in the comments below, or join my Discord if you need anything, any help there as well. There will be a lot of things I will not cover just because it is easier to say on paper than talking about it. There will be a channel in my Discord server and there will be a lot of information as well. Anyways guys, let's get started. Before actually playing, I really highly recommend changing your username to more of an appropriate username instead of player underscore number or whatever number you get. It gets annoying and it's kind of hard to understand who that player is. So just please take like 5 seconds to change your username to more of an, an iconic name. When you join in, the game will bring you to a tutorial. Finish the tutorial and you are free from playing the game now. You'll notice a daily free gift in the middle of your screen. I do highly recommend putting it to the character spin. If you don't see it, just close out the app and reopen it. And the character you're getting is the Dark Knight. The reason why I choose him is the HP and the weapon it provides, the Red Fluorescent. Once you've obtained the Dark Knight, you can finally start playing the game. The first thing I do is getting these two items, a wood wall and a pretzel. First we're going to grasslands and we're going to get the wood wall since it's really easy to get. All you need to do is chop down a tree and mine a stone and hopefully you'll be able to get a piece of wood and a rock. Now go to the crafting at the top right of your screen and drag in the a piece of rock and a piece of wood. Hit combine it and hopefully you'll be able to get the wood wall. Once finished, exit the world and go to the left until you see a pile of rocks. This caveman right here is where you give it to him. He will say wow, thank you or something like that, I don't remember. And he will give you a survival book. You will also be able to access survival grasslands too. Now this survival book doesn't serve a purpose too much, it's mainly because people just want to uh, unlock survival grasslands mostly, but most of the items are okay, but especially the torch is like the worst, because it used to serve a purpose, now it doesn't anymore, and it's kind of a waste, but not really, but it's always good to have it. So now we're going to get the pretzel, but before we get the pretzel, I want to get these two items, the combo book 1 and the combo book 2, and these books are mainly for your crafting rates to be higher by 50%. So what you're basically doing here is basically just mining or chopping down anything that you see in your pathway. Mostly because that anything really counts uh, right now because you're going to need a lot of scarabs and jellies. Mostly a lot of jellies just for the, uh, the Miffy quest that you're going to do shortly. She will basically give you a reward if you give her a certain item. And the first quest is 10 jellies. Now these 10 jellies will obtain and you. Uh, she'll give you the combo book 1. And the next quest is 50 jellies and she'll give you the combo book too. Now if you're unlucky with the jellies, just buy it from the plumber or I say like rip off of Mario. And it's only 1500 coins. It might seem a lot, but trust me, it is not that much. Finally, once you've obtained the combo book 1 and 2, it's finally to actually craft the items that you need. You need to craft the honey bug, which is crafted with a scarab and a jelly from the combo book 2. And finally, from the combo book 1, you can actually craft the pretzel. I was able to get a first try, but sometimes it takes multiple tries, but if you're able to get it, you'll be able to unlock smelting. It's at the very top right of the hub world. You'll be able to interact with this guy, or I don't know how to call him, like Frankenstein ripoff or something. There's a lot of ripoffs in the game, really, honestly. You won't be able to get it, but you just have to interact with him and press A. I've already done it, and I just, like, you know, just craft this for no reason, but it's always good to have. And here you go. Now, it takes five ores and a coal to smelt a ore into bar. Now, it really depends on the ore you have. Some might take long periods of time, and some might take short periods amount of time. It really depends on the ore you have. Now, the next thing you will need to be doing is upgrading your tools. The copper tools will be the really easy as you only need five copper bars each to upgrade them. However, the iron and gold, they are a lot harder to craft since you need 20 bars each to upgrade them. If you're having trouble to get these bars, just ask people on my server now they'll give you the ore variant it's really easy to get coal since coal is really easy to get now you just smelt them now they will take a little longer than copper not too much that way you have to sit and wait like hours but honestly it's not really going to be that bad just be careful who you trade with some people might to bribe you into a higher price but honestly it's not really that big of a deal since they're really easy to get since like higher areas you'll just have loads of these just sitting around and you're just begging just to get rid of these the final item I'm going to be talking about is the combo book 3. This is the best book out of all 8 books in the game. It's because it provides you with a lot of items that will help you later on. To obtain this, I recommend going to Grasslands Arena because both bosses that spawn there can drop it. However, it is a rare drop, but I would say it's worth it since it's the easiest arena to beat. You can buy it with 55 gems in the shop if you're getting unlucky, 
or you can complete a mythic quest, quest which is not till later and you will need 99 firebugs. Finally, I will be showing you guys the two areas in the hub world and how to unlock them. The first is the rock wall. You will need a golden pickaxe for this and once you mine the rock wall you will be access to a garden of, garden of some sort. This area allows you to plant seeds, ranging from green, the worst, red, the good one, and finally the, the gold seed, which is the best out of the three. They don't serve much of a purpose, but it's still good to have, and you could get really good stuff from them, but most of the time you'll get very bad stuff. The last area is the wall, and it's to the right of the hub. You'll need a wall hammer for this. To obtain it, you'll need to go to survival grasslands, and every six days a boss will spawn, and that boss will have a chance to drop it. Once you obtain the wall hammer, you'll now have access to the underground area in the hub. This area is for is for extra quests for the other two characters, the Iron Man and the Ninja. I will recommend not to get the Iron Man, mostly because of the weapon it provides you is trash and in general range is just not good. And I will stick with Melee and that's for Ninja. She is a really good character and mostly because of how much HP and stamina she has. But the weapon that she provides is very bad, is the Surigi one which is 1 damage every 1 second. But as you go on and you upgrade it, it is a really good weapon. But however, it, the quests are very expensive, but as you go on, it is worth it. The next topic we're going to be looking at is managing your gems. Remember that chest on the left, left of your screen when you started the game? That chest is really, really good and overpowered. The reason is, is because it provides you with two gems. Now I'm going to say this, that gems are probably one of the only reasons why people still play this game to this day. Just because of the amount of stuff you can get with this is literally overpowered and broken. Now, what can the add chest drop? Now, it can drop a lot of stuff, but what the things that I see that are really important that come out of it is the, the hero bugs, the master key, the survival tokens, and the coins, and of course, the gems. Those five things, I would say, are the most important out of all the other ones. Now, the ores, too, and the crystals, but most of the time, like, you'll just be stocked up with these a lot, because add chest literally carries the entire game, and it's, again, really broken and overpowered. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this a little bit quickly. Here's what I recommend getting first. First, get a good weapon like the Moon Clips 4 or the Moon Blade 4. These two weapons are probably one of the best weapons you get from the shop. Next, you'll need is two Armoring 5s, which is from the Survival Token right here. Since you have two Ring Slots, you'll need to get two of these because defense is probably one of the most important stats in the game besides health. I would say defense and health are probably one of the two best and most important stats in the game. Finally, I would recommend going for the next is Armor. And I don't know, I would think fairy dress or dragon dress, maybe. Okay, right here. I'm sorry yeah, about that. So dragon dress or fairy dress, whichever one's the best of that one. And moon clip shield four or moon blade four. I would go for moon clip shield four because that extra chat will help. And for helmet, ghost hat or the royal mask. I would say royal mask just looks clearer than the skull mask too, honestly, in my opinion. So those two would help as well. Now, is that everything? Well, not really. Since there's Master Keys in the game, I'm going to tell you this, guys. This Master Keys are overpowered and will give you overpowered stuff really easily. This is why you see a lot of news with these items because it's mostly just gambling for kids, basically. So if you have... I recommend getting all the important stuff first and then get Master Keys because you can get stuff up to, like, maybe Armoring 6, a better shield, a better sword, a better helmet. Anything in general from this chest right here, you get overpowered stuff all right and that, i'm just going to tell you guys this for sure this is why this game is really is not fun and it, and it takes all that time and effort just to get all the items in just in like 10 seconds so in conclusion i'm going to say this guys for sure that just be careful when you're playing the game because if you ever find an unexploit or a bug just please do not abuse it too much or else you'll get banned because this game is very very sensitive about you doing bugs and if you do like one little bug your account might be gone i'm not even kidding it happened to me once and it was not good and i was pretty upset about that so that's basically it for this video i hope that i explained all right in this video because again i'm not really that good at explaining stuff to you people so if you're new to the game i hope this helped and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below have a fantastic rest of your day guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye